Yo, what's happening everyone? Well, what's happening members? Um, thank you all for supporting the channel. You guys are amazing. Obviously, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. We're jumping into ranked play. Normally we do like raids and event matches and stuff. But I thought, you know what? We may as well drop a ranked episode and see how we do. I am close to promoting. So with these tickets, hopefully we can push into gold too. But let's get into this. Fingers crossed. Wish me luck. And uh, let's begin. Okay. This definitely is interesting to see how this can obviously transition. And obviously and seeing how well we can play this off to push it into platinum at some point or another. But I hope you guys are having a great weekend. And um, yeah, obviously I'm excited to obviously bring these videos to you on Saturdays. And I suppose we better begin. Here we go. <clears throat> All right. Oh, man. We've got two fake today, man. What's going on with me? But here we go. Come on. Show me my hand. It's time to cross duel. Let's see what my starting hand is. Work with me here, baby. Work with me. Let's do this. Okay, Andy, Duelist 2, Duelist 3. Let's see what's in store. Okay. It's not the worst, but it's not the best. Um, okay. V Tiger Jet, Wall of Disruption face down. And then I'm going to ready up. I could potentially go into Link Rebo, but I don't want to necessarily need to, unless I have to. Obviously, I've got to try. It is a tough one, because obviously, part of me wants to obviously. Play V Tiger Jet in defense with a Link Karibo and then set these two. Play these two on the field, but we'd only get double super speed. Oh, God. <clears throat> this is not good. I have three... Oh, okay. Three monsters in attack position on me. I am not liking the way this is looking. Andy's gone full out. Full out. Full out. Full force. Daughter 3 is brought out there. Ace. We also have an Ace Z metal tank, but it has super speed. It's fine because if it does activate something to go straight directly for my life points, at least I've got Wall of Disruption to protect me, which will drop 1500. There's a Cohesion, obviously, Blade Skater over here. We have Pendulum Scale here, and obviously, Z metal tank. It's a difficult one because what I'm going to have to do is either play this in defense mode and allow this to attack, but the thing is, because this is gaining attack. I never understood how focus works. All of your other monsters gain 200. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I have no counter play here. Okay. Fair enough. Right, I'm going to ready up. We're going to let this play. Um, obviously, I'm going to clash with this. I will die, unfortunately, but I do have Link Rebo. So I think I don't. I apologise for the flickering. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. I don't know why that. It's, it's like there's some under the surface or something. Okay, Curse of Anubis forces me into defence position. Also reduces it to zero. Does it give Phantom as well? Oh, fear. Okay. Get destroyed. You get the bonus card. <coughs> Considering that, oh my god, this is so difficult, man. It's, ba it's basically a game of cat and mouse here. <clears throat> uh. I only get three. I need four to pop. But I'm going to lose all my cards. <clears throat> this is not good. This is not looking good. Okay. He tributed, which is good. Duelist 2 isn't focusing on me as much now. But he has gone with the Stargazer play and also the... Okay. This is fine.
Link Rebo will reduce these to zero and also Poisonous Winds can cut these down to size as well. Because of the cohesion we can kind of counter that play. Okay, them gaining attack makes no difference to me at this point. So what I do is I go Poisonous Winds. <clears throat> reduce those. Reduce this lane. Um, I need to pull for me to. Oh, I don't even know. I don't think I don't know how I can survive. Actually, no, I can survive this. I need. I need. I, I, oh wait, I've got wall of disruption. I forgot about that. Okay, no, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, yo, I forgot about my trap card. It's because my trap's hidden behind my other card, so it's kind of like ah. Okay, reduce those to zero. Unless he runs focus, his monsters aren't going to gain attack anyway, which more than likely probably is running focus. Jesus, man. I, I think... I always think my computer is being extremely loud, but I think it's just solely down to vibrations and how echoey my room can be now, because I've opened it up a bit. Okay, so you can't attack me, which is fine. Um, oh... Oh no, I just thought about this. Ah, <sighs> um. oh, this is too difficult because if you... no, the wall of disruption will pop off anyway, which will reduce its attack. That would reduce it by 2,000, okay. Okay, I don't know if this is going to play off the way I'd hope to, but fingers crossed. <clears throat> I'm amazed that people seem to be targeting me at this point. Like, and it's not even like just a standard scale, it's genuinely an annihilation. I don't know who to pop. Um... There we go, pop that back. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. I've never seen the field lit up so much. But he's running a spell, he's running wizardry. Which means I'm potentially expecting some spell cards to go into play. But the Wall of Disruption should... What's that? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's a 3,000 drop. Unless they summon monsters, we should be fine. Nah, this guy's baiting me, man. Here we go. 3... Th Oh, no, you don't get... Uh, yeah, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. You're just not affected by it, which is a problem. Because of your ability. Okay, Goku Gun Magician returns to hand. I attack. Right, that gets rid of Exodia. Luminize. Oh no, well played. No. I've just got to stall out that 2400, man, for the time being. Oh, no, this is too early. This is just. I should have played on Andy. No, he's got Exodia there anyway. Okay. I'm going to have to take the 600 life point damage, unfortunately. Uh, but the cohesion is there. So it means I'm taking more. But then also cohesion here. Yeah, I'm taking damage left, right and centre. There's no way for me to counter this play. To be honest with you all. But yeah. Um, 
Man, what's going on with my hair? My hair's just a mess. It's a stud. Nearly as messy as what this. Oh, I thought. Look at why? Why are you only summoning on me? Fuck off! You know the worst part about this, yeah? I feel like they're intentionally doing it. Why would you summon on me, yeah? When there's someone about to attack you directly. So these two people are either chatting or in a group chat or whatever together. And clearly going, let's get him. Let's get the dark horse. Fuck me. Fucking weirdos, man. Look at that. Four, what? Four, five, six, seven. There was summon eight and nine. I'm going to have nine monsters on me. It wouldn't surprise me if they, they both have the same account. It really wouldn't. Oh, they actually know how to summon on another person. Wow. Fuck me. I didn't think they knew. Wow, round of applause. You finally know what it's like to summon on another person. Fuck me. I apologize for not obviously talking, but I I'm sorry, but this is truly frustrating me. Don't get me wrong, I get it happens in duels, but not seven monsters. You know what I mean? Maybe the one, two, maybe three at a push, but to summon on me every single fucking go.
Okay, we're back. I've hid my um, username now as well. Because it's becoming an actual joke that... Um, I don't know whether it's a username thing or what, but it's just straight up pure frustrating when it comes down to the wire. You know what I mean? Um, okay, a chemi billion agristic. I could, in theory... I don't really get what's going on here. What's going on? Can they still see my name? Did I not save my settings? This is bad. Um, I I don't know really what to do. Um, do I go all out and go for the push on the attack and then hold out maybe? But at the same time, is that something I want to do? I'm just going to go. I'm going to go defense mode here. I'm going to ready up. I see why people get so frustrated at stream snipers and stuff like that. I, I completely understand their frustration now. Not that anyone's stream sniping me because we're not even live, you know what I mean? But yeah. Okay. Ready. See, I don't really know. I don't really want to focus on a Kemi if a Kemi is obviously not. Unless they genuinely know each other. I'm, I'm going to be that th awkward third wheel. <laughs> okay. Shield handler. Um Well theoretically I don't I'm just gonna wait it out because Do I wait it out or do I go straight in? Fuck it, I'm going to take the life point difference. I'm going to take a shot at it. I hope that's not a trap. I don't hope that's not Luminize again, man. Seriously. Yes, I should have waited it out. But I got a little bit excited. Well, if they're going for the burn side of things, maybe we should pop Dark Magician, but then also the Go 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 Golem would be pretty beneficial to pop. We'll see. Okay, well played. Come on, you're running a freaking Dark Magician. There's no way you don't have spells in hand. I feel like this game on... I don't know if, obviously, this is... Well, I don't know if Blue Stacks is a lot more different when it comes to connectivity and stuff. But, yeah. Does that freeze me permanently? Oh, it's just for one turn. Okay. Which means you're kind of forced to summon into another monster, which means I'm going to end up... Yeah. That's fine. I think what I should do in future is push a monster forward like now this would be the turn we go into firewall 
because then that way we can pop a monster and then attack with Gaga Ga Magician and Firewall Dragon and get double hit off. Okay, seal. Not bad. Well played. Look, now you're hiding in defense mode, man. Jesus. Okay, Dark Magician is out. I suppose all I can do is really hold it out. Yeah, just hold it down for a bit. But I should be... I don't know. I'm just trying to think if I'll at least be able to get 700 off. Or does it stop me on that latest point? It does, okay. Ranked has got me full of anxiety, man. Literally. Okay, now that works. It's a shame I don't have a monster to push forward, though. Wait, it doesn't help when Billy's hiding in defense mode. Like, Jesus Christ. Wow. Question is, is whose blue eyes going to destroy? I'm assuming it would destroy the Dark Magician, would it not? And then go for a direct attack for the Dark Magician. But then, depending on how many spell cards you've got, that makes no sense. This game is so confusing. You can knock each other out, mate. For all I care. I suppose it's a good thing it targeted me because I think my, um... Okay. It blows my mind. Why would... It... Oh, it's not. It's master skill. Oh, okay. No, that makes sense. Doesn't matter. Ignore me. Whoa. Block attack. Okay. Oh, mate. Wounded. Tables have turned. I feel like... I feel like I just don't know what I'm doing with this deck. Honestly. I just I feel so far behind. I need to I need to grind. I say grind. I need to get my shit together and figure something out. Okay, blue eyes still has nine hundred. The thing is, Ag Agrestic still has nothing. So I don't know whether. Well, Billy's also got nothing as well though. So Akemi is probably the biggest threat. But depending on who she decides to play upon. It's, it's going to be a difficult decision. Plus, you still got an ace, and I don't know what that ace could be. Looking at a deck based upon, like, there's not much really revealing with it. I think maybe it's going to be Meliodas, but I also don't want to run the risk. I'll play Exodia when I desperately need to. But unless I pull something decent next turn, I'm in trouble. Well, she's not going to summon on me. She's more than likely going to go for the Giant Soldier of Stone. But then again... Okay, he did summon on me. Okay. No, that's fine. Dark Magician Girl, which will allow you to bring Dark Magician back to the field. Zabubba Knight. Oof. Okay. So the Dark Magician comes back. And then... Not yet. The thing is, I've got a feeling these two know each other, though. Because they haven't summoned... On each other at all. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. That works. I've got a feeling... Oh. Okay. I'm going to have to go for it now. Just in case. Okay. No, bo no ace card came out, though. But you are... Look. Jesus, man. I see how I see why people feel the way they do when they play Crostal. I might have been joking. I completely understand it. Problem is, we're all in deadlock as well. Oh my god! Mons blue eyes, yeah. Why is he making this deck look like it runs so fluidly? I think it's because of the fact that he doesn't have to worry about a Kemi. Okay. Oh, wow, this is crazy, man. Like, where's my decode, man? Or Link Karibo, where are they at? Hey, what? Billy's in trouble, mate. It's double pickup now, anyway. Poisonous winds, along with Ram Clouder. Okay. Man, look at me cash she's still got in her hand. That's crazy. I need. To, I might have to run some like Blaze or Healer or something. You know what I mean? I need to run something. What, wait, why would you summon on me? Oh, the Dark Magician. I get it. But still, fucking hell! Did he move the Dark Magician not into a? Oh, I'm going to clash with that. Bruh, these two are... They are... They are literally working together. Fuck, is this what Crostal's come down to, man? The matchmaking's just... Tell you what, any time I say I'm going to start focusing only on Yu-Gi-Oh! content for the channel, shit like this happens. It's mind-blowing. Stool's over. Still though, man, nine points loss. Look, what what, what the fuck is the point of pulling Co Talker now?
I'd have to get rid of Exodia. But then what's the point? I got nothing. I, uh, the code ain't gonna do nothing. It can't do shit. Got it in my turn. No, I say it in my turn. I'm ready up. So that's what it's literally all about. Wow. Look at that, man. I don't think anyone even focused on Akemi, you know? Doesn't make any sort of difference anyway, so may as well. I swear, I feel like I'm just literally playing against people that are working with someone else. Okay, here we go. Third and final battle of the tickets. Impact zone. Oh my god, he might be getting revenge on me. I took impact zone out once before. But my name is hidden, so he may not know that it's me, which is good and fortunate. Um, King Andretti. I don't know whether to just hold out. Actually, I do have Link Rebo. This is actually pretty good. Okay. Um, the only problem is I don't have any Link Arrows. I need three more Link Arrows to be able... Well, technically I can use Link Rebo. But I, mean, I, I think I'm getting to a point where what's the point of me running Decode? Because it genuinely doesn't value me at all. I never pull it in the start in hand. I always pull it late game. You know, obviously I don't want it in the start in hand. But at least turn three probably would be beneficial for me to have it. You know, but um, I could, in theory, hold out Link Rebo, go Link Burst with Link Rebo, and then drop them all to zero. Oh, please don't say that's Cohesion Z Metal Tank. Fuck's sake! It's fine. I have an idea. Great. We're going to kill each other unless they mobilize, negate, uh, probably negate itself, to be honest. Or he's going to wait the timer out. I uh, negated himself, okay. Cohesion. The problem is, next turn, I'm going to have to send. That's just unfortunate, man. Someone have a spell card, please. Okay. Okay, I've got another Link Arrow. That's fine. I can work with that. At this point, I'm going to play in attack mode there and ready up. The thing is, the way I view it, I could just go with Link Rebo anyway, and obviously just use his effect to negate to reduce if I need to. But I would rather go with Seal that way, where I can lock off the cohesion and the uh, immunity to destruction because either way he, he plays it into attack mode now where he plays it into attack mode next turn it doesn't make a difference but then if he yeah 
I don't know. We'll see. Oh, it's just such a chaotic case of scenario, man. Okay, healer. I think what I need to do is hold back, let people take on the opposition, and then... Uh, I don't know. I really don't know anymore. This, this today has just been brutal on me. I, we did well yesterday, but even yesterday was a tough one. But still, it's difficult. 100%. There's no denying it. But from what it looks like, Andretti is focused on Impact Zone. Impact Zone is focused on Lim. Lim is obviously being attacked by Andretti too. And I seem to be in a good position. Even if I could sustain second place, I think it would put me back in the same position we started in, I think. I can't remember what number we're on when it comes to ranking, but yeah. Okay. So I said turn three and I got what I asked for. Um... I'm in a debate. I don't know. I don't know. My monster's going to be destroyed either way. Yeah? So at least if I tribute it. Would it be better off me to tribute to go Link Karibo? And then... Although... Yeah. Okay. So that way, if in a battle phase I need something to be destroyed, I have the Link Karibo to sacrifice and still reduce the Cohesion Z Metal Tank. The only thing that's going to screw me over is if that Blue Ice does destroy my card, which I don't think it will. I think it will focus its attention on the uh, monster in front of it. But then again, I could be wrong. <clears throat> I've noticed the more I've played this game, a lot of people focus solely on defense play. There's no one going out on the attack front as much anymore. Not compared to how they used to be. But it is interesting. So there's a double trap card on Impact Zone. Obviously, I don't want to focus on that. This, to be honest, this gives me time. Yeah? This gives me time to build up a solid foundation for what play we're going to go with next. I think we focused on Lim. Because <clears throat> I'll be able to pop. Which I think closer to the time we go for that playoff. I'm not going to do anything yet. I'm going to ready up, let this attack play out. I think he was hoping for the trap card to activate on the Z-Metal tank with obviously Karibo's effect. But we aren't going to go into that dynamic, no way. The only downfall is obviously Z-Metal tank, once it is reduced to zero, it will be then able to increase its attack furthermore based upon the summons. So yeah, it's a, it's a difficult one. Impact Zone may have spell cards at his, um, at his disposal. So based upon this, yeah, we have one, two, three. I would need one more out if I was going to make this work. At least I know I can attack directly with those traps. So I'm debating whether or not I should push full force on you. Because then at least I know we can wrap this duel up. Do I do that and then push forward on the left? Because in theory, they're tied second. But then would my speed be able to catch up to be able to attack directly? I can't imagine he's going to expect it. Okay. We're going to have to focus our attention on someone. And to be honest, you seem to have more cards. But then again... Okay, I'm going here. Go defense mode for the time being. Swear, if that's a protective trap, I'm going to be screwing. I think maybe I'm. What if I'm activating it too early? Maybe I should hold off a bit, a little. I didn't realise you can pop yourself.
Okay, not going to lie, that attack front looks terrifying. Just hope that trap card isn't anything that can screw me over. I'm not going to destroy it, no. Okay. See, that block attack could have been on me. Oh, no, I got immunity to battle position change. Okay. So the duel is still in effect. The 600 damage gets dealt to impact zone. Reduce the attack, obviously. 1300. Okay, we got a clean attack. Nice. Okay. <sighs> okay. This... Oh, no, this could work. Okay, we're good. We're good. Yeah, we're ready up. During the battle phase, I go Link Burst, I destroy Karibo and destroy that, and then we attack directly. I think that's how we're going to play this off, if this can play off well. Or I can enemy controller if I need to. Because either way, it put me up to 27. They're only on 2,000. I'm probably going to go Link Burst, destroy. Decode, I don't bring out enough. I know, obviously, someone was saying that you can gain his attack to your defense or something. I don't know how it necessarily works. But, yeah. Um... Okay. His. Oh, okay. What is it, Gran? All of your monsters gain defense equal to the life points gained. Okay, the cohesion. Would Blue Eyes destroy Link Karibo? Because if Blue Eyes does destroy Link Karibo. I wonder if you have Sword and Shield. Reduce your attack back to zero. The only problem is you're going to have 100 life points remaining, which is... Well, you'll have 200 because you get a direct attack. So you will literally sustain third place by being on 100 life points. Madness. My attack comes through for 2,500. Reduce to 3,200. Then you will attack for 22. That's pushing forward for 29. But isn't there another monster there to attack as well? I don't know what the other... Yeah. 800. Wow. I win by 200 points. That's crazy. Wow. That's crazy. What a absolute insane episode to be honest <sighs> wow anyway ladies and gentlemen it's been a pleasure we have managed to promote after such a stressful dynamic of the video um but yeah Whew. god tough crowd take care of yourselves it's been a pleasure thank you all for supporting the channel and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.